It's crazy because it's so beautiful and epic, but there is a little tint of evil. Oh, this is a huge build-up, actually. I don't know, the Bandonian helps to bring a little bit of darkness. What's up, everybody? Julian here. The 7 Deadly Sins Suite by Hiroyuki Sawano is what we have on the menu for today. Thanks to Lambus and Pi for requesting this over Patreon. I gotta tell you that I actually watched some episodes of this anime, but I dropped it. And if I would have knew that Sawano worked on this, maybe I wouldn't have dropped it, man. If you're watching this over YouTube, I had to do some audio editing and nasty cuts to escape from the crazy heavy copyright claims that Sawano has on these tracks. But worry not, because for the first 48 hours, this video will be free on Patreon. Link in the description down below or in the pinned comment. No further delay, let's get into this. Wait, this is like the intro of of the show, right? Bro, that was Kota Yamamoto? He may have a very similar band here. Wow, Abandonium, bro! Oh, that was nasty! I think I speak for everyone when I say I need more volume, man. Of course, you won't notice anything, hopefully, but I need more volume. It's crazy because some brass instruments are being played by other. We're only seeing a French horn. But it sounds like there is plenty of them. It's crazy because it's so beautiful and epic, but there is a little tint of evil. At least in the last section, man. And I'm hearing some fifth intervals here. Ah, oh, that Bandonian's wicked melody, man. Well, it wasn't the same one. Wow, but before continuing, we gotta talk about the crazy texture made of the acoustic guitar, the violin, and the bandonion. It helps to, I don't know, to construct this medieval kind of sound signature. Also, I wasn't expecting to see and hear a bandonion here. The biggest exponent of this instrument, at least for me, are the bandonion lines on Astor Piazzolla's pieces. 
It's crazy because it's a very common instrument in tango. Yeah, I'm talking about Argentinian music. So to see that instrument here in Japan, man, at the other side of the world is quite crazy. But I have to do more research because probably the decision of having this bandoneon into this format is that it was a pretty used instrument in the ages in which the seven deadly sins is inspired. And yeah, even though the instrument was created in Japan, Germany to serve as some kind of portable organ and play in churches. The countries where it was the most popular were in Argentina and Uruguay. And a little flute? There is a very subtle flute added in post-production or maybe Yamamoto is adding it with that pad with the beat machine <laughs> It sounds so medieval I love that rhythm part in actually the pam 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 It's the rhythm foundation of everything right now Uh-huh That was what I was hearing There are two electric guitars here Again, maybe we are not seeing two because there is only an acoustic and one electric guitarist here in the video. But later on, they added that other electric guitar doing subtle, simple melodies. But the other electric guitar is what I'm talking about. The one we are seeing with this with a little bit of palm muting. And I think that, again, this is about taking different instruments, blending them together with another instrument and making a crazy texture this time they are doing so with the strings with the violin to be more specific oh yeah and the subtle melodies are so surprising man so syncopated Oh, this is a huge build-up, actually! <laughs> oh! I don't know, the bandonion helps to bring a little bit of darkness. And with natural harmonics on the acoustic guitar. It is so beautiful. 
we are repeating the same section but the rhythm section is, al is actually getting into this right now very organically I shall say wow you can even feel the struggle man the burden the characters are taking on their shoulders or carrying on their shoulders Also, we have a little choir. Huh. I wonder what are they singing? Are these lyrics or just uh, vocal noises? I don't know, all of this creates a very unique atmosphere, full of mystery. Oh ho 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 ho! This Wild West sounding violin, man. Violin and guitar, actually. Oh. Bro, and the shell replied, that was crazy, replied with the very same bluesy line as the guitar player played. And it is not that often that shell players play lines like that, that tell us so much about Sawano's overall vision for this OST. He's combining different worlds into this soundtrack, man. That's insane. Oh, the cello and bass part here. Digging, bogo, digging, da da. Mm, yeah, some of the additional strings are being played by Yamamoto, it seems so. But that's a pretty real sound effect. That strings line is incredible. Holy. Dang, the tension is rising, man. You can actually feel it. It was kind of subtle, bro. Ah. <gasps> uh. It's such an experience, man. Okay, singers, I think I remember these singers from the Attack on Titan suite. Very tasty slap play in there, combined with this folkish violin line. You knock on my door, so let's start a journey, as you came to see <laughs> He's a performer, man. Very dope. Ah. Oh, my freaking god. Wow, this sounds very similar to 86, to 86's soundtrack, or one song at least. It's the same vibe. Maybe she's the same singer? Oh, 
They sing incredibly, man. I love how he's supporting her with an octave lower vocal. Kind of Celtic, you know? I am quite ignorant in Celtic music matters, but the little I've listened to, it's similar. Bro, I swear she's the same singer. I don't even remember the name of 86's uh, song I am actually thinking about right now. I'm pretty sure because even her body language is very similar. Of course, the violin is supporting also these melodic lines. It adds a little bit of, I don't know, of beauty, but of an emotional component. Come on, bro. I'm getting a little bit warmed. Uh, no, no way. Bro, no. This one was way shorter than Attack on Titans one. I don't even know anymore, man. Let me see here. Um, yeah. Koto Yamamoto. And the singers, the singers. I don't find them. Okay, okay. Not gonna lie. I like the Attack on Titans with better. It is just that the emotional distress and sense of urgency on those themes are are just crazy man they gave me chills but i really appreciate how different is this work it shows you how someone is truly in favor of the music all he does is for the sake of music and the story and our universe he has to depict with his music even if attack on titan also shares a little bit at least at the beginning of the show of that middle european ages you know medieval feeling the seven deadly sins suite gets that concept or works over that concept much more and that's clever because attack on titan isn't actually about that period of time that tells you about how much does the composer have to know about the actual anime to make the music or maybe it was a coincidence i don't think so what do you think how does this freaking ost makes you feel thanks so much for watching and hanging around see you again next time have a blast of a day please